Combination treatments use two or more individual treatments at the same time. And for blood cancer patients, that can deliver significant benefits. However, availability can be limited. Takeda is a pharmaceutical company that is collaborating with the life science community to address the access challenges for these treatments to improve patient outcomes. Every year in the UK, more than 40,000 people are diagnosed with some form of blood cancer. For each of them and their families, knowing that there are increasing numbers of combination treatments offers hope. But the frustration is that access can be limited by cost-effectiveness barriers, even when one of the treatments is given away at zero price, an issue needing a multi-stakeholder approach. These barriers include challenges with the existing health economic methods used to assess combination treatments, plus competition law considerations, as the medicines used in combination are often manufactured by different companies, says Takeda's Helen Taylor. We have strict competition laws, which means that we can't collaborate as manufacturers and talk about price or any of those sensitive pieces of information. Um, and often, because these treatments are clinically beneficial and prolong life, the initial treatment or the treatment's already standard of care is combined with a new add-on treatment and actually it prolongs the treatment path but that means that the, you go over that willingness to pay threshold. There are a number of different stakeholders looking at different solutions. We're one of those. That's the goal that I see of, of a patient being able to access the treatment that's right for them at the right time and as quickly as possible. To tackle these issues, Takeda has worked with a multi-stakeholder group to develop two white papers, offering a potential solution that can be implemented by the life sciences community. The first white paper is uh, an attribution of value white paper that allows a value to be given to each treatment in the combination. That means that hopefully, as a whole, it becomes more cost-effective. The second white paper is a framework essentially to allow compliant discussions between industry so they stay within competition law and talking about pricing. So what difference would it make to patients if there were better access to these combination treatments? In many cases it could be the difference between life or death and I know that sounds quite dramatic um, but a lot of blood cancers are very aggressive they evolve very quickly over time, so you need to get the most effective treatment into patients at diagnosis. And that can be challenging if that combination is not available and not approved for use. Clinicians increasingly want to use these combination treatments, which have been proven in clinical trials, to offer their patients the best possible outcomes. So the need to overcome these access challenges is urgent. There's often the combination treatments, uh, the attack from different uh, modes of action uh, to the tumour that can overcome the resistance and lead to deeper remissions of the tumour. Patients that, for example, have a tumour that is very likely to be resistant to a single drug, we want predominantly to treat with combination therapies, maybe even combinations of three or four drugs. For example, in patients with what we call high-risk disease, where we need to overcome resistance uh, that can be quite severe. So really finding a way to, to make these combination therapies accessible so that the patient benefits most is very important moving forward. Takeda hoped that their proposed solution and collaboration with the life science community will contribute to finding ways of solving the access challenges for combination treatments ultimately allowing patients greater access to potentially life-extending and even life-saving treatments.